Okay, it's uh, 4.33 Saturday afternoon here on the East Coast. Um, let's see, I enjoyed talking with, uh, I think, almost everybody this week about your literature reviews. Uh, if you don't have the literature review in, or if you haven't talked to me, you better call. Um, but not tomorrow, because I'm going to New York City tomorrow. Um, but call Monday, and let's figure out what's going on, okay? Uh, for those of you who I did speak with, uh, it was fabulous. Uh, most of you done a really nice job with the lit review. Uh, there are a few of you who I've asked you to uh, tweak them and uh, make them a little better. Uh, but um, I'm sure you'll all be fine by the end of next week. Uh, the outlines were also due Friday. I'll take a quick peek at them on uh, Monday. Um, hopefully in the morning. If not, I'll... Uh, have them back to you sometimes Tuesday morning early, okay? I don't think any, uh, many of you will, or any of you will really have problems with the outlines having just uh, spoken with you on the phone. Um, so that leaves us then with week eight, and shoo, uh, no writing assignments for most of you. Uh, and what that then lets us do is really focus at the end here on uh, Bowman and Deal and bringing all of the four frames together. All right, we've talked about the structural frame, human resources frame, the political frame, and the spiritual frame. And uh, I may sneeze here in a moment, excuse me. Nope, not yet at least. At any rate, um, and in this last week, we have a case study about a junior high principal at the RFK Middle School. Um, it's in the book, actually, and you'll read um, about the challenges that he faces and then how he uses the um, four frames to sort of figure out what to do next. And of course, it's a case study uh, written by the authors using their own um, analytical model. So guess what? Da -da! Um, the uh, principal figures out how to uh, get out of his jam and he takes steps that work out perfect, and in the end, uh, everybody's happy, and the movie ends uh, with everybody singing Kumbaya. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey, a little cynical there. But, um, let's see. Uh, basically, uh, the school is sort of in the, in the same place that uh, Los Perros University is. Um, and the principal holds a staff meeting, and basically the staff meeting blows up on him. And if you uh, read that section and think about the four frames, it's really easy to figure out why. Um, essentially, uh, it blows up because two staff people um, have an, who have been sort of sniping at one another, right? Um, the gloves come off at the meeting and they just go at one another, uh, much to the chagrin of the principal. But if you think about it, uh, the situation in terms of the four frames, it becomes really easy to understand why this um, staff meeting blew up on the principal. Essentially, there's been, there is no political, there are no political arenas at the middle school for uh, for the resolution of conflicts. And so the conflicts that's been brewing between these two lead teachers or these two uh, principals has had no place to be resolved and no place for the steam to kind of be let off uh, slowly, uh, institutionally, etc. So the principal kind of opens the meeting a little bit and sure enough, <laughs> all the pressure blows up on them. And that pressure has been uh, created in part because of the structure of the school where you sort of have this matrix um, management style where um, you have school, well, I'll just leave it there, where you have a matrix sort of management. So you have people reporting to two different bosses. And so the structure itself inherently creates uh, tension 
and because the political frame isn't working, there's nowhere for that tension to go. Okay, the, the other piece is that uh, the symbolic frame of the school isn't working at all. There's no symbolic glue that's holding people together, that's giving them a common purpose. And so, frankly, what happens is that the individual agendas of the individual people, i.e. the human service frame, um, is has free um, has free reign, right? People are basically pursuing their own agendas because uh, nothing's aligned. Nothing aligns them with the school, and the structure is inflaming the uh, conflicts. And there's no. Uh, symbolic glue holding them together, and there's no process by which these conflicts are being resolved. Hence, everything's a mess. Okay? Now, it's a little long-winded, but you get the point that you can look at what happened at that meeting uh, through the four frames, and you can figure out, well, no wonder it blew up. Okay? And so, the rest of that chapter, after telling the story about how the meeting blows up, is about how he figures out using the four frames what he what he has to do next okay all right so that's that uh, I hope that in our discussion this week we can really uh, think about how to use the four frames effectively and um, and basically at the end of the class here you are convinced that um, being able to shift between frames quickly in your thinking and in your actions will allow you to be a really effective uh, leader. The other piece is that um, the readings this week talk about uh, what happens when there's change in an organization. And if you see change through the four frames um, associated with each frame, then is the is or are the actions that a nonprofit has leader has to take in order to be effective during times of change in those four frames. And I don't have my book with me, so I can't say exactly what page it's on. Uh, but when you read that section this week, uh, take real note of uh, the chart and real note of um, the actions or strategies that leaders have to take in time to change as it relates to the four frames uh, because chances are given the flux of the nonprofit sector uh, you're going to be leading organizations through change and of course what's the title of the course leading leading change in nonprofit organizations so that's a very that sections is really important uh, the case study then gives you an example of trying to lead an organization through change. And so it's sort of the theme of the week. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, give calls. Uh, I did enjoy talking with you all. You understand, right? The phone works. So um, tomorrow, Sunday, I won't be available. Um, I may have said this at the beginning or in the previous take. Uh, I'm going to be in New York City tomorrow. But um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just give a call. Okay? All right. Uh, all right. Take care.